What's up folks? What's new here? Well, a couple of rainy days in lower Alabama, but that's uh, not going to stop me. thought I would get inside and uh, share a really cool new toy that has joined my arsenal. Um, yes, I have a lot of new toys that seem to join my arsenal, but this one I thought was really cool to share. So here we are. So um, this past year, I really fell in love with the UltraView UV3 XL scope housing. Um, I found that uh, some things that I liked about it is it's interchangeable pins. You can run a one pin, two pin. They have a new three pin that's coming out. I'm waiting on that to arrive, which I'm sure I'll do a video on when that comes. Also, it's lightweight. It doesn't weigh a ton, uh, which I like. I like weight where I want to have weight and uh, a site is not where I really want to have weight. Also, I think it has the best lighting system in the market. Uh, you can make it, uh, you know, you can adjust the, the brightness depending on your situation, whether you're in a tree or ground blind. Also, it has a self timer on it. So, uh, you know, when you turn it on after a few minutes, it will turn off on its own, um, which I like because I'm bad about not turning uh, the, the light off after I use it. And uh, a lot of times I'll end up going out in the woods and um, the light is dead. So, um, this one turns off. I know I've seen, um, you know, a few guys kind of complain about that, but to me, I think, you know, really that's a plus. So that said, I like the scope right now. I'm running a two pin, uh, setup and I tried it on a few different frames. So that's the thing. UltraView doesn't, they, they don't make their own frames. So you have to find something that you like and works. The good news is there's a bunch of different rods. You can throw it on, uh, spot hogs and, and things like that. And, uh, I ran it on a spot hog. Uh, this past year, I uh, tried another site which uh, had some issues around fit and kind of making it work in terms of uh, running it on a bridge lock. So uh, on the Matthews was kind of an issue. And I ran across something that I think is the best. So here's what we have. HHA's uh, Tetra Max Rise is what I went with. And I went with the whole setup and I can talk a little bit about um, the rest of it in, in, in a bit, but I ran the UltraView UV3 XL uh, scope on this frame. I think it's the best. There's a reason Chris B and UltraView sell these directly, the Tetra, not quite this model, but a, a similar model um, in their shop directly. There's a reason for that. One of the reasons is HHA has a really cool micro adjust um, system that fits directly to the ultra view scope. So you're not like running a bar into something that's really not made to go into that something. And uh, it's really designed on that. So your ultra view scope fits directly on this micro uh, adjust to, um, add on. And the micro adjust is baller. I think HHA knocked it out of the park. It's one of the best micro adjust systems I've seen. So basically the way uh, it, it's set up is, um, you know, you've got a macro adjust and a micro adjust and it's all toolless, which is pretty cool. Um, so you'll see uh, here, you've got like a little, you know, wing nut type of thing. Uh, and you just loosen that and you can do the macro adjust and the macro adjust, uh, the problem that probably many of you have had, and I have too, is you undo a, um, an Allen screw and it slides too far. And you know, unless you marked where you're at, it's kind of hard to know where you were. So with this, they actually have indentations on the rod itself. And it is a nice click through each macro adjustment, which is excellent. Also the micro adjust uh, on it is um, done really, really nicely. It is very crisp. Uh, there's no kind of slop or anything like that. Uh, done really well and um, I think it's probably one of the best uh, micro adjust systems uh, I've ever seen and again HHA worked with UV on this and again that is another part UltraView sells directly on their site so again this this uh, was all made to kind of essentially uh, work together um, it's easy and fast to sight in. Again, I talked about the micro and macro adjustments on it. Probably the fastest I've ever sighted in, in any site. Again, you're not, you don't have to fool with, uh, you know, Allen wrenches and different things like that. Uh, you just undo the wing nut and you kind of are ready to rock. Also, uh, you've got on this system, it's a long range sight. So you have this elevation uh, system here, which 
you can bottom that that bad boy out and you can shoot some really really long ranges you get nice clearance out of it and imagine this a long range sight that comes with long range sight tapes and just to give you an idea uh, the longest range on I guess this is a really fast setup but it goes out to 185 yards I don't think my old eyes can see that but if you wanted to do that you can rock it on this site and I've never seen sight tapes come with a site that go out this far um, I've seen most sight tapes end at 100 or 80 or 90 something like that and uh, these really uh, they stretch it out so <laughs> novel idea um, long range tapes with a long range sight so if you're uh, into shooting long range um, you know 3d guys tack I'm this is gonna be my tack setup just so you know and I am really looking forward to stretching this this guy out and, and doing that um, along with that so the te the HHA Tetra to give you an idea of what the max means and what the rise means is the max system uh, essentially comes with an extra dial and you can buy more of these so uh, what this does and what I think is really cool about it is let's say you run different setups so you have a hunting setup that is uh, you know one speed and arrow uh, weight and then you can undo the allen screw screw pop that off put on say your tack or a 3d setup run a lighter faster arrow and you're not dealing with ripping tapes off and putting them back on you're just you know, and you can have multiple of these so i think that's really awesome that's what i plan to do uh, whenever i go to tack i'll start switching that over actually pretty soon planning on you know going down to litter little uh, uh lighter arrow so i can uh, stretch it out flatten out my gaps and um so yeah i think that's awesome so that's what the max means I'll get to uh, the rise now, I guess. So rise is essentially, they have gone with a two pin uh, single post. So in the past, the single posts for HHA have been um, just a single pin. Now they have a two pin similar to, you know, Spot Hog and hmm, UltraView. And on that, they, there is also an indicator on the dial wheel with two, um, uh, two pins as well. <laughs> and uh, you know you can you can match up your gaps pretty well I haven't fully tested it um, to, to see if they're spot on but when I just did a, a caliper measure on the UV and the rise they look pretty darn close so I'm hoping they work out really well so that when you're dialing say you're in a hunt, hunting situation you could use your indicator for uh, both pins but don't hold me to it I haven't tested that yet um, you know but so far it looks promising uh, aside from the rise again that's the two pen uh, versus one the the rest of it really is i mean this thing is engineered and designed really well um, there are similar type of designs where the second axis adjustment and elevation adjustment are one and the same that i have never really liked on on certain sites these are independent so whenever you unscrew to do your uh, second axis adjustment or your elevation adjustment you're not changing anything and i think that that is um that, that's necessary that's that's really how it should be uh, also it's very lightweight so compared to a lot of other sites uh, some of the ones that i mentioned before uh, it's lightweight yet still robust so this thing is built really well uh, tolerance fit and finish is impeccable really really nice machining um, again, it's not a bunch of plastic parts or dials. Uh, this is even a, a uh, metal dial, aluminum dial, I believe. So uh, you, you don't have to worry about the robustness of it. Also, it, you know, if you end up running the rise, uh, you know, scope that comes on it, uh, the pins are actually uh, pretty bright. Um, also, there's an adjustment on it where you can uh, screw in or screw out depending on uh, how bright you want your pin so if you have haloing if it's too you know bright outside you can simply adjust that or uh, you know the other way around if you need some more uh, light you you can uh, unscrew it and kind of let more light in also all your fibers on that rise uh, scope are very well protected so if you're uh, you know clunking around in the woods or out west and and all that you don't have to worry about you know anything damaging those those fibers um, it's it's really really impressive um, how they've designed and kind of thought that through also uh, I mentioned on one of my boats I'm running 
both frames, it's kind of a similar setup on my PSC Omen and then on my Matthews V3X with a bridge lock. Um, I'm also running that there. So if you are a Matthews shooter and you have a bridge lock system, this dovetail, so this tournament system is the dovetail. Um, it fits like a glove in the bridge lock. There's no slop. Uh, I know whenever I put the spot hog in there, I mean, it was a uh, hot dog down a hallway type of thing. And uh, this, you don't have to worry about it. It's like it was designed for that, which maybe it was. So uh, that's another plus if you're a Matthews shooter. Um, and then lastly, just a little bit about the company as I've, as I've you know, gotten to know them more. And actually I've known HHA for a very long time. I used to run one of their sites a long time ago. And it's funny, I kind of found my way back. Uh, but huge veteran supporter, which I am a veteran, and I think that that is awesome that they give back through uh, the HHA USA organization. Um, also, this site's lifetime warranty. It's made in the U.S. up in Wisconsin, so it is supporting you know American jobs. I think that's awesome, and uh, yeah, great company backing it. Uh, so if you ever needed anything, I mean, also customization if you want a different pin color you can call them up and get a different pin color for example i don't see red very well i ordered uh their scope with a yellow in it and um you know really you know good group of guys you know, folks to work with so the company you're backed by an awesome company um so yeah so this is my tack and hunting setup for 2023 i'm looking forward to uh getting out the woods shooting some foam, um, hopefully get lucky enough to fill some tags with it. Um, but I'm confident that the, that this is, uh, the setup that I'm going to run. So I'm happy with it. So again, uh, if you want to catch up with any of my day to day content, go follow me on Instagram. I am S G .homes. You can message me. I, you know, get a lot of DMS. I'm happy to help if I can. Uh, so feel free to ask questions or just say, Hey, uh, I love meeting new folks. Um, and again, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you checking me out. Uh, and as always, please like, please subscribe. And I tell you what, comment below. Let me know what site setup you're, you're using. If you're using a similar setup or maybe you, you've done this as well, I would uh, love to hear your, your experiences with the UV combo with the HHA. Um, and with that, uh, again, thanks again. And remember, aim small, miss small.